Joshua will creak. Your outcome's looking pretty bleak. Thunder booms and lightning crashes, leaving boots filled with ashes. As we lay you down to rest, we read the pages of the Dead Man's Digest. Welcome everyone to day four of the Dead Man's Digest, look back through Halloween Horror Nights Orlando history. This episode is brought to you by the Unofficial Universal Orlando podcast, and we will continue our look back in time with Halloween Horror Nights 10, which took place in 2000. The tagline that year was, Not afraid of the dark? You don't know Jack. And the icon, obviously, was Jack the Clown, aka Jack Schmidt, or the Ringmaster. The event took place, as usual, at Universal Studios Florida and was held over 19 nights. The houses this year were Anxiety in 3D in South Stage 22 and the 3D virtual reality of the house that Jack built and find yourself trapped in a malfunctioning 3D video game. Total Chaos also in South Stage 22 wander through a top secret underground military base where captured aliens are on the loose and thirsting for blood. The Fear House at Nazamans. Try and make your way through a carnival where mirrored hallways, darkened corridors and hideous creatures make your escape unlikely. Universal Classic Monster Mania in the Earthquake queue. Experience real terror as classic movie monsters are transformed into hideously gruesome and grotesque abominations. And also Dark Torment, which is also in the Earthquake queue. After riding Earthquake, you'll descend to the labyrinths of a nightmarish underworld where hordes of evil demons torment you at every turn. The scare zones that year were Apocalypse Island in Central Park, Clown Attack in Hollywood, the Gauntlet in the Boneyard, and Midway of Dr. Morose in Amity. There were also two haunted attractions that year, which were Nightmare Creations 2, Confrontation, and Bloody Waters in Jaws. Now, the shows that year were Festival of the Dead Parade, which started in New York and ended in Hollywood, witnessed Bloody Nightmares, a macabre parade of demonic dolls and murderous toys, unsafe for any age. Jacked up on the animal actor's stage, where you could take a surreal journey through Jack's twisted imagination as dazzling acrobatics and cutting-edge techno music bring some of your worst nightmares to life. And of course, Bill and Ted's excellent Halloween adventure. Continuing on, we come to Halloween Horror Nights 11. The taglines for that year were I See You, Jack's Back, and No More Clowning Around. And of course, the icon was again Jack the Clown. It took place over 19 nights, again at Universal Studios Florida, and the houses that could be found that year were... Scary Tales, located in South Stage 22, enter an abandoned carnival attraction and find yourself in a nightmarish fairy tale world where there's never a happy ending. Pitch Black, which was also in South Stage 22, a mysterious zone of darkness has appeared, causing weird disturbances. It's up to you to investigate, if you dare. Superstitions at Nazamans, explore a hidden warehouse filled with ancient relics and urban legends that will have you believing in the supernatural. The Mummy Returns, The Curse Continues, located in the Earthquake queue. This is based on the hit movie, where you can venture through a maze of tomb-like corridors and dark caverns in the Temple of the Scorpion King, where danger lurked around every corner. And Run, which was also in the Earthquake queue. You can become a guest contestant in a diabolical new game where there are no questions, no prizes, and only one rule. Try to escape without losing your mind. The scare zones that year were Midway of the Bazaar in Amity, Nightmare Alley at Stage 54, and The Unknown in Hollywood. The shows at that year's event were Nightmares on Parade, which started in New York and ended in Hollywood, and the streets came alive with this ghoulish procession of Halloween images that was promising to haunt you forever. Dangerous Delusions on the Animal Actors stage. Internationally acclaimed illusionist Franz Harari, designer of large-scale stage illusions for concert tours by Michael Jackson, Alice Cooper and others, Perform feats of mind-bending magic. Boogeyman in Pantage's theatre. Experience the terror of the scariest film madman ever to slash the silver screen. Just keep telling yourself, it's only a movie. It's only a movie. Or is it? And once again, Bill and Ted's excellent Halloween adventure. This year's event came soon after the September 11, 2001 terrorist attacks on the US and Universal hurried to modify the event to reflect the nation's mood at that time. Many changes were made, from house titles to the removal of blood. One of the most notable changes would be the event's original icon, Eddie. 
Eddie was a chainsaw-wielding, face-mask-wearing maniac who had an elaborate backstory. Eddie was suddenly replaced by the return of the previous year's icon, Jack the Clown, with taglines such as, Jack's back, and there's no more clowning around. In addition to the icon change, anything graphic or violent was scrapped from the event. There would be no blood or any sort of gore. Attraction names were softened to be more appropriate for the time. Some original titles included Bloodbath Underground, which became Ooze Zone, Terrorland, which became Scary Tales, Slasher Alley, which became Nightmare Alley, The Festival of the Dead Parade, which became Nightmares on Parade. Deadly Delusions became Dangerous Delusions. Lastly for this episode is Halloween Horror Nights 12 Islands of Fear. The tagline that year was Your Time Has Come, and the icon was the caretaker, also known as Dr. Albert Kane. The event took place in 2012 and was head over 21 nights this year, and also saw the venue moved over to Islands of Adventure for the first time in its history. A single night admission ticket that year would cost you only $49.95. The houses that could be found in Island of Adventure's first ever Halloween Horror Nights were Scream House in Soundstage 20, There's Something Disturbing About This Small Town Mortuary, The Bodies Just Don't Want to Stay Dead, and They Don't Want You to Leave. Evolution in Triceratops Discovery Trail. Deep within the jungle, top-secret genetic experiments have gone horribly wrong, creating hideous mutants half-human, half-dinosaur, and all evil. Fear Factor at Thunderfalls Terrace. Imagine a place where your greatest fears become reality. Feel your way through absolute darkness in a room crawling with insects, snakes, spiders, worms, rats, and more. Scary Tales 2 in the Pop IQ. Step into the pages of the grimmest fairy tales ever told, where nobody lives happily ever after. In fact, nobody lives. And Maximum Carnage in the Carnage Warehouse. Venture into the labyrinth-like secret hideout of the malevolent Carnage, an insane criminal with incredible alien powers who's bent on mindless destruction. Scare zones as usual could be found around the park, and these were Booville in Zeus Landing. All the Whos are behind locked doors, As darkness falls, the mischievous spirit of Halloween descends upon the deserted streets. Does it bring treats or tricks? Island of evil souls in the lost continent. The imposing figure of nightmare blocks your entry to this hellish netherworld of ancient demons and fiery torments. Do you dare to pass? Jurassic Park extinction in Jurassic Park. The power is out. The gates are down. Packs of carnivorous dinosaurs are loose in the park. And there's something very strange, very deadly, stalking you as well. Treaks and Foons in Toon Lagoon. The joke's on you as you cross a weird, maddening landscape populated by disturbing cartoonish freaks whose idea of fun is scaring you silly. Island Under Siege in Marvel Superhero Island. The superheroes have all been defeated. Now you're trapped on a decaying, lawless island under siege by the minions of the most vicious supervillain of all, Carnage. And Port of Evil in Port of Entry. Entered an eerie, mist-shrouded port city where unseen creatures and unspeakable horrors lurk around every corner. Shows that year were Town Square of Tortured Souls in Port of Entry. Hide your eyes and cover your ears as the shrieking victims of electric chairs, iron maidens and other torture devices set the mood for what's to come. Fountain of Evil in the Lost Continent. The spirit in this fountain won't grant you your wish. Especially if your wish is to escape unscathed. Studio 666, also in the Lost Continent. Gather all your friends and dance the night away as the hottest night spot in the land of dead comes alive with pulse-pounding high-energy music and Bill and Ted's excellent Halloween adventure again in the Toon Lagoon Amphitheatre. Halloween Horror Nights 12 welcomed the caretaker, or Dr Albert Kane, as the icon, but Cindy Barrow was to have been the original icon for Halloween Horror Nights 2002. She went down in history as a Halloween Horror Nights reject. And never was that could have been who was scrapped by Universal and replaced by Dr Albert Kane, the caretaker. His character was based off Cindy's father, Paul Bearer. And now that will conclude this trip through Halloween Horror Nights history. We wanted to give HHNCrypt.com a plug for supplying the info. If you enjoyed this look back in time, then join us again tomorrow for another two years of Halloween Horror Nights. So until tomorrow, sleep tight, internet. <laughs>